Hello, I'm going to provide a quick overview of the Neutron Control's BevOp BMS demo case. This video is intended as a quick refresher for those who will be demonstrating the functions and outlining the major components. First, I'm going to demonstrate a quick setup. First, you're going to open the demo case, carefully remove all the packaging, and ensure that the tablet does not fall or get damaged. In inspect the case very carefully to ensure that there's no signs of damage. To install the removable battery strip, you're going to unscrew the three screws from the standoffs. Carefully align the three holes to the standoffs and using the removed screws, you're gonna mount the battery strip in place. Next, you're gonna use the ribbon cable, ensuring it is this side up, which connects the cell taps of the TLE 9012s to the main BevOp board. Finally, connect the power connector to the battery strip. Now use a line cord to power the case up. Now this case is live with power. Please use extreme caution and follow necessary safety precautions. To operate the system, turn on the tablet and connect the USB-C cable to it. This connects the tablet to a CAN dongle, which is the primary connection communication interface to the main BevOp board. The demo case is now ready for use. At the core is a Neutron Controls BevOp main board. This board implements all the Infineon solutions needed for an automotive grade battery management system, including Orax, MCU, and the TLE 9012 cell monitoring devices with the needed TLE 9015 ISO UART transceiver. It also implements other needed features such as power management and isolated inputs and outputs. As a result, BevOp provides a highly integrated BMS allowing users to focus on software development and hardware analysis. The BevOp mainboard utilizes Neutron Control's custom designed MCU modules. This module allows a selection of different Oryx MCU models. In this demo case, you'll notice that a TC399 module is implemented. Moving to the top of the board, there are four TLE9012 cell monitoring ICs implemented. They are fully wired together, allowing users to get started quickly, but also allows you to create a different configuration of battery packs. As each TLE9012 has 12 self taps, one can create a simple 12s pack or something more comprehensive as a 12s 4P for higher current or 48s for higher voltage 200 volt pack. A consideration for wiring the cell monitoring devices together is the utilization of an ISO UART, which is really important when using high voltages. This isolated communication is achieved via the TLD 9015 transceiver and BevOp implements both a single ended and ring configuration with the use of jumpers. It's these jumpers that allow the user to create different pack configurations and also connect the boards together. The TLE 9012 cell taps are brought out to connect connector headers. These are used to connect our customer designed 18650 battery strips via a ribbon cable. Customers can similarly use this method to connect their own custom battery packs. Our battery pack also implements five temperature sensors via the sample connector. As safety is always a concern, our battery strips have a number of safety features implemented including fuses. These cases are not shipped with battery cells and customers must continue to consult local re regulations regarding shipping and transporting lithium ion cells. To create a full BMS, one only needs to add components related to an EV system. In our case here, you'll see we wired up our custom designed 18650 battery strip to high voltage contactors to both a charger and a variable load. We've also implemented Infineon's PSOC HVPA for current sense, allowing us to monitor the battery pack current while it's charging and discharging. With this system, users are able to connect via the CAN interface and get cell monitoring data 
as well as control how the BMS operates. Let's launch the GUI application by double tapping the icon on the surface. Once loaded, hit the Start Monitoring button. Once the graphical user interface is provided, you'll see that the, cell, the 12 cells are monitored for their individual voltages. The five available temp temperature sensors, and it also shows the overall pack voltage. Once in charge or discharge mode, you'll additionally see the pack current amperage va values that are going in or out. To demonstrate discharge, we have a variable load connected. Users must set up this load once per power up. To turn on the variable load and set the current rate, press the button marked on and off, and then press the button marked plus three times to set it to the minimum of 300 milliamps draw. Let's hit the discharge button and watch for the changes. Hitting the button sends the command to the BevOp via the CAN interface, and once safety parameters are checked, the I.O. on the BevOp will activate the high voltage contactor, which connects the battery to the variable load. If the load is turned on and set to a minimum of 300 milliamps draw, you'll see that the fan and LED turn on, which indicates that the current is being drawn from the battery pack. On the GUI, there will be a reading for the current being depleted from the pack. Here, 300 milliamps drop is shown which corresponds to the, what is set by the variable load. Depending on the current draw setting and the cell voltages, will start to, to drop at relative rates. The higher the rate, the quicker the voltages will drop. Once the demonstration of the load has been completed, click Open All Relays to disconnect the load. Now to demo charging, hit the Close Charge Relay button. Again, safety parameters are checked and the charge contactor is activated, which connects the battery pack to the charger. The GUI will now show the charge current value going into the pack, a positive amperage, and the cell voltages will start to rise. The rate of charge is preset and there's no way for the user to adjust. Depending on what the level of the cell voltages are at, the rate of charge on the cell voltages will depend on what level the voltages are and therefore their state of charge. To stop charging, click the Open All Relays button. The system is now in idle mode. The firmware demo that is preloaded implements balancing during idle mode. When the TLE 9012 implements passive balancing, you'll see the indicator on the GUI go from gray to blue. To prepare the demo case from transport, the battery strip must be removed as this is mandatory for air travel and shipping. Please consult and follow proper regulations. To power off the case, simply pull out the line connector from the case. Removing the pack requires the disconnection of the two prong red and black connectors by simply pulling them apart. Next, remove the cell taps by removing the, the ribbon cable by simply pulling it apart. The battery pack is now disconnected from the system and can be removed completely from the case by unscrewing the three screws from the standoffs. Please ensure to not unscrew the two middle screws and the very top left screw as that is what holds the battery pack together. Once removed, the battery pack can be safely st stowed for travel in your travel bag or your carry-on. To close the case, make sure you power off the tablet and disconnect it from the USB-C. And put the foam cover on for maximum safety.